Hey, told that little bitch it is nothing. Hey, hit that bit right from the back. She got turkey. I knock out that bit like it's stuff. Okay. Yeah. And it's crazy to see Twenty One Savage uh grow to what he is now. Cause then I didn't never think he was gonna be the nigga that he is today. When Kodak said, "Who the fuck pissed Lil Skip?" Yeah, like, when he said that shit, shit right? Shit. No, no. When he said that shit, bro, the nigga who made the beat was in the room, and I just remember we started laughing in the back. The DJ started laughing and shit, and then everybody in the back was laughing, <laughs> and then I'm like, "Bro, this is so fucked up shit." Like. I was just like, everybody was laughing. Like, I'm talking about the whole floor. Like, right. even the cameraman was like, he was like. <laughs> Tap us old motherfucker 29, let's get it. But welcome back. This is episode 29. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, make sure um, y'all listen to the audio. Uh, if you're at work and you're watching this pod, Nigga, if you had the crib watching this pod and you be like, damn, this shit good, like, I'm gonna keep listening to this bitch. Go turn that shit off on YouTube and go straight to the audio on God is gonna be right up. Cause I've been consistent this shit, been working. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. We got about five topics today. I ain't gonna lie. Um, these topics I'm so excited about, y'all. So first we're gonna get into Denzel Curry talks about the 2016. Uh, XXL uh, cover That freestyle was one of the greatest Shit to ever happen 2016 was great period But that freestyle was fucking amazing Like that was great times I was in high school That's the first time like the kind of The new wave was on some shit like Uzi Fucking Kodak 21 Savage And it's crazy to see 21 Savage uh, Grow to what he is now Cause then I didn't never think He was gonna be the nigga that he is today but yeah, that moment was fucking great, a fucking amazing. One of the greatest moments of all time, if you ask me, in, in my generation. I was born in 01. So I ain't see, maybe I ain't see a lot of good shit, but that was a time, bro. So I just want to say, um, shout out to Denzel Curry for giving this story, because it means a lot to me, actually. I don't know, it's a little weird that it might mean a lot to me, but shit, it was a good fucking time. So yeah, um, let me see. I think I said, I, I, I thought I had the video on my damn... In my damn shit, but that's oh there it go right here. Listen to this shit, y'all. Hello. Oh yeah, beat like when he cry. said when Kodak said who the fuck pit little yeah, 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 like, when, when he cry. said that, that shit, shit right. Y'all no no when he said that shit, bro. The nigga who made the beat was in the room, and I just remember we started laughing in the back. The DJ started laughing and shit. And then everybody in the back was laughing. And then I'm like, bro, this is so fucked up shit. Like, I was just like, everybody was laughing. Like, I'm talking about the whole floor. Like, right. even the cameraman was like, he was like, <laughs> you like, can like, you like, can like everybody laughing in this chat. You can literally see it. When Cody. Now who the fuck picked a little sour ass beat? I'm from the ugly corner, man. Them little sour ass streets. What? Now, homie, I know mm, why who let your sour ass eat, huh? Who the fuck? Hey, that was a time, boy. That nigga snapped. Oh, yeah. That was just, that's not really a topic for it. That's just a cool moment in history that I wanted to go. So, all right. This rapper from London, I don't want to mess up his name. He said, he explains to Ebro, he said, how Kendrick Lamar pushing fake pedal allegations about Drake? Did a lot of damage for the culture. I actually agree because people really think Drake a pedal. Like, that is dead ass wrong. But then at the same time, I can't even be a hypocrite and be like, oh, Kendrick put that on Drake, brother. Fucking uh, Drake put him beating his wife on, you know, Drake put uh, beat Kendrick on. Fuck, I can't even talk, y'all. Hold on. Let's start over. Hold on. Let me see. Hold on. Fuck, y'all. I, 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 I fucked that up so bad. Nigga, can I talk? Uh, all right. Fucking, that's the button I was looking for, but yeah, Drake put Drake put that shit on Kendrick that he be beating his wife. So you know it go both ways. Yeah, um, La Uzi shares a, a picture of Frank Ocean with the caption CFO. Now if y'all know, Frank Ocean did that little shit with Apple to got the Apple deal. You know, get all that money. Everybody knows the story. But if that shit true, cause La Uzi shared the picture of Frank Ocean with the caption CFO. With a picture of Frank Ocean. But if he did that shit, that I ain't gonna lie, that shit would be raw. But the problem is, I ain't gonna lie, I really did not like Eternal Take, like, too. Like, I really, really, really did not like it. No offense to Uzi, I love Uzi, you a fucking 
a legend, top five in this generation, but brother, that shit was terrible. I'm sorry. Big time brush has a feature like shit was terrible, y'all. So if he doing what Frank Ocean doing, I commend that nigga. Cause I ain't like that shit. And y'all, that shit sold low as hell. That shit only sold 59K. Like, Uzi not doing 59K. Even Pink Tape sold over 150, gang. Like, it was terrible, terrible. It ain't had no hits on that bitch. It ain't had nothing. And Uzi, Uzi always have a hit on that bitch. And the first hit turn to take was cold as a motherfucker, too. So, if Lil Uzi put in the frame, and that's what's up, bro. Congratulations to Uzi. Okay. I seen this um thing. Carlos Miller and Shannon Sharp had an interview, right? And they was talking about the whole Drake and Kendrick beef. And Carlos Miller said, I don't think they ever liked Drake. He just too easy to hate on. Like, I get it, bro. Drake is light skinned. He tall. Like, what Carlos, all the, all the things that Carlos said, he don't come from a struggling background. His people, even though he got caring parents and shit like that. Like, Kendrick is everything that most black black people be going through let me say let me not say most that kind of sounded bad but you know what i'm saying like kendrick been through the, the typical black story you know what i'm saying and drake a jewish nigga like shout out to all the jews you know i don't want to get canceled bro shout out to y'all bro. <laughs> but uh, but yeah yo like it, Drake is one of the easiest niggas to hate on, bro. Then, you know, he my favorite rapper, bro. Them fucking duck lips, them... You know what I'm saying? The fucking ponytails that he been getting. It's like... He just, you know, he just give you... He just be making you want to be like, what the fuck? You know, my cousin be trying to call him, um... But, you know... Fuck up. Nigga, because it's all about Drake. Stop, stop playing with that goat, bro. That's the boy. You know I mean? Nobody could ever be like him. Nobody could be as unique as him. People always say he try to be like other people, but shit, if he if he if he become you, bitch, he'd be better than you. So shout out to Drake. I, I think he is easy to hate on, but I don't know. I feel like I could listen to I think Drake has the most um as I get older, like he make he's like more relatable to me. I don't know how to explain it. I know. Kendrick be making all, and I even got his album in the back, dude. It's right here, bro. But like Drake, I could listen to this nigga when I'm in my feelings, when I'm going through relationship problems, when I have friendship problems, when I want to get turned on a nigga, when I want shit on a nigga. Like Drake is just always there for me. You get what I'm saying? So even though he easy to hate on, it's just like he been there them to my whole life. It's like it's like I'm growing with the nigga or something. Just like you kind of grow with Kendrick and all his shit. And shout out to Kendrick, bro. It's like I'm not no Kendrick hate. I love Kendrick. I love J. Cole, but, you know, Drake just my type of nigga. Pause. Um, last topic of the day, Academics. Academics says Baby's changing his marketing for his album to piggyback and hop on Young Thug Wave um, because he stood 10 toes behind him with the whole gunner situation. I get everything. that I ain't gonna lie. The Baby fall off has to be studied. I love the Baby to death. I ain't gonna lie. And then I hate when people, well, let me not say he fell off. Because, you know, the second, the album, the last album he dropped was fucking good to me. That Real Spill, that was a good album. It wasn't like a classic, but it was a good album. Voice of the Heroes is a classic to me. I don't care what none of y'all niggas say, Voice of the Heroes. But let me get back on topic. He, all the snippets he's been dropping been shits. So I ain't gonna lie. Them shits been boo-boo. It don't make me no more excited. It be making me scared that this nigga dropped... Uh, got a drop. It'd be like, damn, they like nigga retire. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't fuck with. I don't fuck with none of his like new music. Like it don't sound good. The shit he just snippet with Future. That shit don't sound good. Like the shit he even dropped with Central C. I didn't even like that. And that was a decent verse. You know what I'm saying? The shit he dropped before Bats. <laughs> I not that good to me. You know, brother, brother, not. It's like brother not hungry. Like I miss that hungry little baby when he was rapping. And I ain't gonna lie. Gunna low key shitting on him because Gunna just really keeps snapping over and over and over again. I ain't gonna lie, brother, brother going hard. And to really, to really come out of to the let me let me re, let me slow down. Little baby just gotta. I don't know. He gotta be hungry. Maybe he, us saying he falling off gonna make him more hungry. I don't think he gonna drop this album this year. And I ain't gonna lie, I seen um, 
I ain't gonna lie, I kind of agree with uh, academics. And he be down there, he was doing all that shit on Gunna, and Gunna going crazy. And Gunna got nominated for Grammy. Gunna had a number one song, like, <sighs> brother not winning. Um, then, nigga say, this just came out literally two hours ago. Young Thug was reportedly in the studio with Future and uh, Future, Travis Scott, and Lil Baby. These niggas look turned, like, that nigga turned, like, I, be, I wish I was a fly on the wall in that room, bro. That's... That shit crazy. Thug, you big as hell now. But like, other than that, bro, these niggas just look like they cooking. I just don't, I just want to see how this whole shit play out with Drake and Future. Cause you know, all them homies and shit, they mutual friends and shit. Like, our Future and Drake don't get back cool cause this whole Thug shit out. But niggas grind. I ain't gonna lie. If I was Mariah Sanders, I'd never let this nigga out of my sight. Like, damn, like, nigga, you really gone. Like, you really here. Like, <sighs> Yo, this is fucking crazy, bro. This is this is crazy. Yeah, I, I like I'm speechless. Like, damn, thug really out. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I thought that boy is never gonna get out. But yeah, I do get what academics. I think he using that boy. But that's the end of episode 27. I like these short episodes. I was yapping in the middle because I ain't know what the fuck to say because I was just so like everywhere. But yeah, I'm getting better, son. I mean, it's hard to do this shit by yourself sometimes. I be getting all distracted and shit and fucking overthinking with the topics. I've been, I ain't gonna lie today, I think I did better because I wrote down the topics and shit. But yeah, y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all keep supporting the nigga. And shout out to your boy that, um, the, the comments today, the one that said consistency is key on the last one. And shout out to the person that said, um, they here before being subscribed because you know we hitting that shit. All right, y'all, we going out to Real Spill by Lil Baby. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. I ain't gonna lie, shout out to LMA for that song again. That shit was hard as fuck. Um, we going out to Real Spit by Lil Baby. Y'all have a good day. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's get it. And y'all keep listening to the audio. Yeah. I love gaslighting.